Patricia Morrison stood out in classic Hollywood with her unique performances and strong on-screen presence. Her blend of grace and intense charisma made her distinctive in an era filled with talented actresses. She left a lasting impression on audiences, becoming a notable figure in Hollywood history. Share your cherished memories or personal experiences related to this classic Hollywood actor in the comments below. Stay tuned for surprising, amusing, and touching facts about her. Many more interesting details are coming up, so keep watching for a fascinating journey through Patricia Morrison's legacy. Patricia Morrison, a luminary in classic Hollywood, wielded profound influence on the film industry throughout her era and beyond. Her magnetic performances and commanding on-screen presence left an indelible mark, making her a significant contributor to Hollywood's rich tapestry. Morrison's contribution to Hollywood extended beyond her time, shaping the industry in lasting ways. Her unique blend of grace and intense charisma set her apart in an era teeming with talented actresses. As an actress, she skillfully navigated the complexities of her roles, leaving an enduring impact on audiences. Morrison's influence reached beyond the silver screen, resonating in the annals of Hollywood history. Her performances not only captivated viewers during her active years, but also served as a testament to her prowess as an artist. The impact of her work continues to be felt, with her legacy serving as a source of inspiration for aspiring actors and actresses. In exploring Patricia Morrison's impact, it becomes evident that her contributions were not confined to a specific time frame, but reverberated through the years. She became a part of the cinematic landscape, a figure whose influence transcended the boundaries of her era, weaving seamlessly into the fabric of Hollywood's narrative. The captivating journey through Patricia Morrison's legacy is a testament to her enduring influence on the film industry. Her performances, characterized by a unique charm and intensity, have left an intriguing and lasting impression on Hollywood, shaping its trajectory in ways that continue to be felt today. Patricia Morrison, an influential figure in classic Hollywood, showcased her talent in various aspects of the entertainment industry. In December 2012, at the age of 97, she graced the stage at the Panages Theatre in Los Angeles for the production titled Ladies of an Indeterminate Age. This event, featuring co-stars Charlotte Ray and Anne Jeffries, highlighted Morrison's dedication to her craft. Beyond her acting skills, Morrison delved into dance under Martha Graham's guidance. Simultaneously, she worked as a dress shop designer at Russex Department Store, showcasing her versatility in entertainment and fashion. The film Song Without End, directed by George Cukor, provides a glimpse into Morrison's professional journey. When Cukor found Morrison's voice portraying George Sand too feminine, he opted for redubbing by another actress. This incident sheds light on the collaborative nature of the film industry and adjustments made for artistic integrity. In addition to on-screen achievements, Morrison's talents extended to dance and fashion. Her ability to navigate various artistic realms showcases her adaptability and commitment to her craft. The redubbing incident in Song Without End serves as a reminder of the collaborative nature of the film industry, where decisions are made to enhance the overall cinematic experience. Patricia Morrison's journey in classic Hollywood is not just a chronological sequence of events, but a rich story with diverse experiences. Her role in the evening at the Panages Theatre, her foray into dance, and the incident with Song Without End collectively paint a picture of an artist whose influence transcends the boundaries of time. Patricia Morrison, known for her role in classic Hollywood, holds a unique record having the longest hair in Hollywood at 39 inches. Universal Studios positioned her as a contender to Dorothy Lou Moore when she changed her hairstyle to a middle part. This move showcased the studio's efforts to carve a niche for her in the competitive Hollywood landscape. Throughout her career, Morrison often played the role of the femme fatale or the other woman on screen. However, her return to Broadway marked the peak of her success. She achieved great success as the lead in the original production of Cole Porter's Kiss Me, Kate, followed by a notable role in The King, and I even in her 90s, Morrison retained the ability to perform in the same key as when she first gained acclaim in Kiss Me, Kate. This showcased her resilience and the lasting influence of her initial breakthrough. Morrison's Hollywood journey was marked by strategic studio decisions, varied on-screen roles, and a triumphant return to the Broadway stage. The interplay of these elements shaped her career, making her a notable figure whose influence extended across decades. 
Patricia Morrison, known for her impressive mezzo-soprano vocal range, left a lasting mark on classic Hollywood. Born to Selena Morrison, who served in British intelligence during World War I, Morrison's unique journey unfolded without marriage or children. She settled in the Park La Brea apartment complex in Los Angeles from 1961 onwards, living a private life. Her vocal talent shone in various roles, but an interesting incident occurred in the film Song Without End, highlighting the collaborative nature of the industry. Director George Cukor chose to redub her voice, underlining the challenges in maintaining artistic integrity in filmmaking. Morrison's skills extended beyond acting. She explored dance under Martha Graham's guidance and showcased her versatility as a dress shop designer at Russex Department Store. A noteworthy aspect of Morrison's Hollywood journey was her record-setting 39-inch hair, strategically used by Universal Studios to position her against Dorothy Lemoore. Despite often portraying the femme fatale on screen, Morrison made a triumphant return to Broadway, starring in Cole Porter's Kiss Me, Kate, marking a peak in her career. Her ability to perform in the same key, even in her 90s, demonstrated resilience and the lasting influence of her breakthrough. Morrison's Hollywood narrative is not merely a sequence of events, but a rich collection of experiences. From the collaborative challenges in Song Without End to her strategic Hollywood image shift and triumphant Broadway return, Morrison's journey reflects the dynamic nature of the entertainment industry. Her adaptability and lasting influence continue to shape the trajectory of classic Hollywood. In 1948, faced with a crucial decision, Patricia Morrison left Hollywood for New York to star in the lead role of the Cole Porter musical Kiss Me, Kate. Despite an offer of marriage from Hollywood mogul Louis B. Mayer, she chose to pursue her career over wealth, a decision that proved wise as the show turned out to be a success. In 1936, Morrison served as Helen Hayes' understudy in the Broadway production of Victoria Regina. Despite Hayes' occasional illness, Morrison was never called upon to replace her, and the theater would temporarily close until Hayes recovered, showcasing the challenges of the Broadway stage. A promising role in the 1947 crime thriller Kiss of Death, alongside Victor Mature and Richard Widmark, saw Morrison playing Mature's Italian wife. However, her part was cut by censors due to sensitive content, and yet her name remained on the film's credits, an unusual outcome in Hollywood. Morrison's journey wasn't confined to the screen. In 2012, at the age of 97, she graced the Panages Theatre stage in Los Angeles for the production Ladies of an Indeterminate Age. This event, featuring co-stars Charlotte Ray and Anne Jeffries, highlighted her dedication to her craft, showcasing her passion for performance even in later years. Beyond acting, Morrison's talents extended to dance under Martha Graham's guidance. She also explored the world of fashion, working as a dress shop designer at Russex Department Store. The incident with the film Song Without End, where her voice was redubbed due to artistic considerations, sheds light on the collaborative nature of the film industry. Morrison's Hollywood journey wasn't just a chronological sequence of events, it was a rich story with diverse experiences. From rejecting a powerful mogul's proposal to facing challenges on Broadway and dealing with the intricacies of filmmaking, her narrative reflects the dynamic nature of the entertainment industry. Her ability to navigate different aspects of the arts, from acting to dance and fashion, showcases adaptability and commitment to her craft. Her Hollywood narrative, marked by strategic decisions, varied on screen roles, and a triumphant return to Broadway, illustrates her lasting influence on the industry. Patricia Morrison's story is not just about her roles on screen. It's a story of resilience, passion, and the ever-evolving nature of the world of entertainment.